Kimberly, and I'm here to talk today about uh, women and social media. And uh, so I'm a blogger, I blog about entertaining at home. And so my blog is about women, uh, it's like a woman magazine, what they do, but as a blog. Anyway, the thing that's what is important, I used to be an actuary, so this will be a little bit of a statistic at the beginning. So the thing is that women, it was last year the most visited uh, community. And when you think that there was a US election, it's really something that shows that it's not just a fact, it's something that women really believe in. And one of the reasons why is because there's now more women on the web than men. It's true for the old, um, for the internet, and it's also true for all ages in Facebook. It started uh, six months ago on uh, Facebook, and that's, this is the last uh, uh, most recent for February statistic, and you can see that it's still going strong like that. And in fact, the most, uh, the woman 50 years old, or were the one that has the biggest increase as a, as a group on, uh, for new user on Facebook. And when you think that this is a really an age where you don't think that people will really go to uh, computer, it tells you something also that women really want social media and embracing it. So also the general generation gap that we all talk about is really slowing down. You know, we're not that fair, it's slow, you know, it's slow, but you see, if you see at, uh, at 45 to 49, now there's 80% of people that use the web, so it's still good uh, at some point, you know, the, the definition may be going one time a month or something, but still they use it. Um, also, this is another new uh, statistic that go for the user-generated content, which in fact, bloggers and podcasters and everything, that's what we do, and which is important. And this is more a prediction, where immortalers predict that, you know, there will be a 50% increase in content creator, and content creator can be the, the real blogger or the people that add uh, comments or posts, response, and things like that. And also in the video, it would be 80%, so that would be good for you. If we look at the woman blogger, oh yeah. I'm sorry, what did you say? User, genera, uh, user uh, generated content. User generated content. Uh, and if we look at the woman blogosphere, that was a study done by Blogger. Blogger is a community, it's also an ad service of women. So you have all different types of women, you have the moms, you have the, the crafter, and you also have moms, uh, a woman that shows help women start businesses and things like that. So that community, and they, they do also events, if you don't know that. Uh, then they say that last year, I think it was done, it was published in spring 2008, and 36 million U.S. women use participate in blog every week. So it's a lot, you know, it's a, a big number. On the mom, you know, there's a big, probably you notice it, there's a baby bar, uh, boom right now, you know. And also women get after children later in life. And what that means, I think, most of the women has already worked, which was maybe not in the past, you know, if you look 50 years ago. And so today, they used to, because of when they were working using the internet, and now they are at home. I guess that's one of the reasons why they want to stay uh, uh, and use it. We'll, we'll talk about that. It's another slide that will tell you that. But what I want also to tell you is that these months, 
use that to research products because obviously the women are more savvy. They want to know which product to use for their child and make a better, you know, decision: food, health food, organic, and all this kind of stuff. And it's important because bloggers are seen as influencer. A lot of women blogs blogs about things that we like. So we will talk about products. We will uh, talk about things that uh, you know they, that we try and stuff like that. Find solution for you. And that's one thing. Me, it's one review I put on my on my blog because I got I want a camera. All bloggers need a camera. So when I find that one, I thought it was perfect, and I said, why I choose that one? And I know because I'm also part of. Amazon affiliate that some people have bought it over the month. And friends also of me have bought it because they, they saw that, you know, I like it and it you know, gave good results. Uh, like I said, that was the thing I began to say about mom, that mom do that to stay connected to the world. And also, especially in the U.S., uh, I think in Canada, you in the uh, I'm from Montreal, so we'll say from the English Canada, that's also true. People are spread, and that means that when you have kids, your friends and your family want to know, oh, okay, can you send me pictures and stuff like that? And the web is a great way to do it. It's more easier than taking the phone and listen, saying the same story 10 times. And they use technology, and one of the technology is this community. It's called Kinmondo. That was uh, built. It's a web 2.2 site. It's a community built by a couple that was parent of the second child. And they, in fact, reinvent the baby book. But it's an internet baby book. And an improved baby book. More interactive. Because if you see here, you can have the journal. But your friends and your family, because that's is more productive. It's not something that you share with so many people that in your family that you invite that see it. But they can share stories. They can upload pictures when you go to birthday. And at the end of the, as I say at Christmas, they can print a copy of the baby book with all the different facts and give it to the grandmother, the grandma, uh, the godmother, and stuff like that. So it simplifies their life and record the, the life of the child. Twitters, you know, we, people say that Twitter, oh, it's only the, the gay, the early adopter. But a lot of women have embraced Twitter. And in fact, they even have made a site outside, a community outside Twitter where they can interact more. Because in 140 character, there's some question that they cannot ask themselves. And that's where they go. And if you look at things, there's things that are really modern, but there's things that is also technology, politics. So they discuss different things of the life. So that's a different circle that is on Twitter that I follow. So you have the cooking, you have the, the event planner, you have the crafter, and you even have people like HGTV, the, tradi the traditional media that is uh, also getting on board. You have the tourist industry also uh, that do a uh, nice thing. In fact, Fairmont Hotel do a uh, nice thing and they think it's a big <coughs> Friday. Also, they have a question and you can answer yes and have a gift. And they answer to you, you know, I inter interact. So it's a I think from the brand side is one brand that you should look at, how they should do it.